Thank you for joining us uh, tonight. Thank You're you not me. on chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine, are you? For now, I'm not, son. It's, it's good news. It's um, Ramadan, and you know, during Ramadan, Muslims believe that the Quran was revealed during Ramadan. So tonight, I would like to reveal some good news and some bad news. Okay, so what's been the most important metric or indicator about the situation of COVID-19 in Nigeria? It's the good news is that the numbers of patients that are discharged keeps changing and keeps going higher every every day. In the last one week, past seven days, mm. over more than 700 patients have been discharged. That is the fact. Um, late last night, the evidence from the NCDC showed that Lagos was leading a discharge over 600 patients. Tonight we've seen that that number has gone significantly higher. Mm -hmm. So I'd like us to focus a bit more on the good news, and that is, let's look at the chart of the week. The states with the most discharged patients. And if we look at that, here's what you find. Five states account for approximately half of all patients that have been discharged. I'm talking about Lagos, Bauchi, Abuja, Bono, and Kano. So four states, including the FCT. And the good news is, yes, even though Lagos State is the epicenter of the disease, the fact shows that 99% of those that have been reported to have the coronavirus in Lagos are alive. That's the good news. Mm. Now, let's talk a bit about the bad news. 50 million Amarachi. Now, what is 50 million? 50 million, perhaps, is the number of Nigerians that could be living in fear this year. Let me explain myself a bit more. You know, malaria has some symptoms like high fever, body pains, aches, weakness, headaches. headaches. Now, the same symptoms are some of the symptoms. The symptoms of malaria are some of the symptoms that patients with the coronavirus have. Mm. And so the right question is how many Nigerians are estimated that we have information have malaria on an annual basis? And that's the number, 50 million. And so we potentially this year could have as much as 50 million Nigerians that will be living in fear, that would have malaria and might think they have the coronavirus. Why is this number important? It is important that while we fight the disease, the government also creates a plan to fight the fear. Yeah. And that is what we need to do. And, and I do remember the UN has also called attention to that, that other, you know, opportunistic illnesses could also be, you know, ignored because we're all focused on fighting coronavirus. But the reason I asked about whether you were on hydroxychloroquine is because the US president, Donald Trump, as you know, is on hydroxychloroquine. He's taking that as a preventive. Is there any new information from the WHO or from any other uh, 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 global body regarding how to manage the virus? Hydroxychloroquine is a big topic, so perhaps we should start from one other perspective, which is what is the WHO recommending as treatment for the coronavirus? And I'd like us to focus on that. Let's take a look at the WHO's own recommendation on how the coronavirus should be managed. And if you look at that recommendation, top three, here's what you notice. The first is the WHO says that there's no medicine that has been shown to prevent or cure the disease. Yeah. That's from the WHO. There's no one medicine. Yeah. No one medicine. The second is the WHO says there are currently no drugs licensed for the treatment or prevention of COVID-19. Because we're treating symptoms. Because we're treating symptoms. And finally, the WHO says it's coordinating efforts to develop vaccines and medications for the coronavirus. I'd like to summarize it in three ways. The first is, yes, the WHO is saying that we should not use hydroxychloroquine, but the WHO is not saying what people should use. That's the first. They're not giving alternatives then. The second is, unlicensed drugs are working. Over 2,000 patients have been discharged in Nigeria. Many more thousands of patients have been discharged. And if the WHO says there are no licensed drugs, and patients are being discharged, mm. it means that the unlicensed drugs or the unlicensed therapy that is being treating symptoms are working. Now, finally, there could be a bigger pandemic. There currently is a war between those that are trying to produce a vaccine and those that are trying to produce a cure. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Those that are trying to produce the vaccine are looking at the potential, 7.5 billion people. And so there's a lot of politics, even in the WHO. Remember, when the WHO was founded in 1948, 0% of its donations came from voluntary donors. Right now, 70% right. of the World Health Organization's funding comes from voluntary well, actually, donors were, and a were, lot of politics are involved. You were doing so well, but you got to the bad news again. Thanks again for joining us on... The